Holly Shields here reporting for Calkine. Today's topic, commodities. We have heard the stories of how people used to trade even before currency was introduced in human civilization. The barter system was used to exchange one item as payment for another item. This is the basics of commodity trading. And today, traders have a plethora of options to trade and invest in the commodities market. Before going any further, let us discuss commodity and what sort of goods come under commodity. What is a commodity? A commodity is basically a natural resource which can be used as raw material for creating goods that carry some monetary value. For example, iron ore is a commodity which is a basic raw material for the steel industry which in turn is used by automobile construction and other industries. In the above example, iron ore is a commodity which can be exchanged for a predetermined value of another commodity carrying equal value during the exchange period. When the US imposed an embargo on Iranian crude oil and banned the payment in dollars for Iranian crude, India devised a mechanism to purchase the crude with an exchange of some sort of farm product as payment. Basic characteristics of commodities include one unit of a commodity can be used or exchanged for another unit of the same commodity without any loss of value. For instance, one ton of iron ore can be exchanged for another ton of iron ore without any significant loss in value. The foremost characteristic of a commodity is that it is tradable. If a particular good is not tradable in the open market or an exchange, it cannot be considered a commodity. Gold can be traded easily around the world, but feasible uranium cannot be traded on an exchange or traded legally by investors. Technically, uranium is also a metal and used as fuel for power generation, but cannot be traded in the open market. If the commodity is tradable, it should have liquidity. Liquidity ensures that high numbers of people are interested in buying and selling a particular product at any given point in time. There is no cap on the amount of buying and selling. Additionally, commodities should be deliverable. This has been Holly Shields for Calkine. Thanks for joining us.